Hello, I'm Grant from Maker's Vlog, and today I built a hack in a box, is what I'm calling it. And here it is. It's cool, isn't it? Get you in close, let's have a look at it. So, here it is. Uh, another name of these um, are called War Drivers, or War, yeah, war Driving Case, uh, or Kit. And essentially, all it is is a portable radio frequency hacking system essentially um, a lot of these kits are made primarily for wi-fi and bluetooth but i want to make one with enough kit to do the, everything the whole spectrum you lift this and you're ready to go um, i've not changed any of the codes yet on this case i've had this case for yunks and i finally found a use for it so let's have a look so here it is, this is a Raspberry Pi model, Raspberry Pi 3, model A+. Plus. Uh, it's in a Raspberry Pi B case, because I couldn't, I didn't have a case for a um, Pi 3. So, practically the same, it's a little bit smaller form factor and it doesn't have as much RAM, but for our purposes, um, it's it works quite well. I also have a small power cable that just tucks in underneath it. HDMI lead for the screen this here. It's a 10 inch uh, touch screen. A 500, uh, 5000 milliamp hour battery pack, so 5 amp hour battery pack. Again, little cable tucks in underneath there. The SDR uh, antenna mount. The SDR dongle itself, now this one is just a cheap listen one. Um, as and when I upgrade my kit and get a Hack RF1 or other SDR kit, it'll be going into here as well, and it'll be a, a self-contained unit. So at the minute, this can only listen; it can't actually transmit, not without putting other kit in here. Um, I also have up here a couple of antennas. Um, it's just slotted in there so that I can uh, easily store them in the back plate. So whenever this is all put together, I haven't quite figured out where I want the screen yet. So tilted here like that move that out of the way so tilted here i think is quite nice the only downside to that is it means i have to set this up every from now from the moment anyway whenever i um want to set this up i have to open it up and move things around plug things in i don't want that to be the case and um, i eventually want this to be just i lift open it up and turn it on and away it goes if I want to do that, I think the best bet is actually to mount the screen here. Um, actually on this back plate and have the cables um, routed around it. I think that'll work nicely. It's just not as nice of a, a screen position because I, I like the screen to be slightly tilted. Because um, I'd be looking down on it as such. Uh, the battery pack, is, as I said, is about 5 amp bar now. With the screen and the Raspberry Pi running at full tilt, it draws about 2.5 amps. So this battery pack will give me two hours worth of use. I do have a cheap um, solar panel kicking around somewhere. And I was thinking uh, what I could do is actually have a solar panel possibly in the bottom compartment. This uh, box opens two ways, I'll show you that in a second and possibly have the solar panel in there and then I can take it out, stick it on the back or put it somewhere where it's getting a bit of light and that could help give it a bit more power. Because just because you're hacking things and breaking things, it doesn't mean you have to break the planet. So I'll just show you this open up. There's nothing on the other side yet. Uh, just because I haven't got anything to put in there. I was thinking once I get more SDR soft or SDR equipment that it could be mounted in the, uh, in the bottom here. And I could have cables routing through it, so it opens up. Exactly the same, it's just uh, the other side. And there's a bit of uh, plywood in between those that is uh, separating them, so it's fairly easy to drill through. So I'm going to set this up uh, as it would be if I'm using it, and uh, I'll, uh, I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, and this is it set up, ready near enough uh, to go. So 
Cables are messy at the minute. I need to get cables that will fit nicely. Um, the only one that sort of actually fits somewhere roughly where I want it is, is this. This is the cables for the antenna for the SDR. Uh, I didn't want to get a shorter cable because I might need to mount the antenna somewhere else um, at the minute. Quite nicely, there is a metal plate up here which the mag mount fits onto and it means I can put the antenna just on the top of the box which I think is quite nice. The SDR itself at the minute is not plugged in and that's just down to not having the right kit on my part. Um, currently it is being run through this which is a uh, just a, a USB hub because the Pi A series only has one USB slot on it so I need to break that out to uh, use multiple slots. The issue is this uh, hub is a cheap one. I think I picked it up at a conference for free. So it's um, it, it, it supplies power, which is what it's doing for the uh, screen here, but it doesn't do anything else. I can't plug uh, keyboards or mice into it. It just doesn't work. So at the minute, I don't have a, USB or a mouse even in this at all or, or keyboard. Uh, I am going to use probably a Bluetooth keyboard, one of the small ones with a, a trackpad on it because it'll fit in here quite nicely. Um, I do have one, but it's a 2.4 gigahertz one and it requires a dongle, which um, will work once I get a good hub, but if I can avoid using USB slots, I will. So you might be thinking, what the hell does this thing actually do? Well, at the minute, again, the SDR isn't plugged in, so not a lot. But I am going to essentially make this into a portable hacking kit as such for RF, for radio frequency. So that's Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, uh, the whole spectrum. The reason I want to do that, because you can get kits that are portable for specific things. So you can get a kit for Wi-Fi or Bluetooth or whatever. But um, I did a talk recently at a cybersecurity conference called B-Sides in London. And I talked about hacking in this way and I would have really liked to have some of the kit to show off but I just didn't have anything that I could bring to show okay this is the kind of stuff um, that you can do with this kit. I didn't have it at the time but this is uh, part of the reason why I'm making this. Um, I also have this a uh, Raspberry Pi as part of a road test um, basically it's it's a review system for a company called Element 14. Um, so that's why I have the, the board and I thought, well, I'll use it in this kit. The A+, plus, this uh, chip, this single board computer, isn't that powerful um, whenever you start thinking about RF because you need a lot of throughput uh, or you can have a lot of throughput whenever you're sending and receiving stuff. So a better board could be an upgrade as well in the future. Um, I'm thinking potentially a banana pie um, or something like that. Also, I need, um, at some stage anyway, whenever this kit gets operational, I need an external hard drive because if you've worked with RF before, you'll know that the file sizes are fucking huge. It's, it's, it eats up space very, very quickly. So I'm going to need um, a hard drive. At the minute, the micro USB on this is only about 64 gig. So it's fine for the meantime and for testing purposes, but if I'm ever putting this out into the wild to actually do some proper research, um, I need I need more storage in this. So I'll need to do that at some point and that could be something else that's stored in the uh, bottom container. I could have it in there out of the way. Um, heat might be an issue with it, I'm not sure. Uh, this Raspberry Pi has got heat sinks all over it and a small fan to make sure it stays cool because depending on where you are with this foam, it, it could get quite hot. So yeah, that's it for this one. Um, I'm gonna be upgrading this um, just as and when I get parts. Um, and I'll be, I probably will mount the screen up here and then start putting cables nicely around and do stuff like that. So I'll be, I'll be upgrading this uh, kit as I go and I will, uh, I will keep you updated with videos um, every time I make a, a big change. I'll also post a lot of photos about this on Twitter. So if you want to follow me on Twitter, that's down in the description. Um, I'll be putting a lot of photos of, of wee changes that I do that maybe don't warrant a whole video. I'll do a wee thing up there on there. So yeah, if you'd like, subscribe if you want to see more of this and uh, I'll see you later.